Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So what is up? How is everyone doing? Let me just say I've sat in this chair in this exact spot for at least 40 minutes waiting for our neighbor's dogs to stop barking. So I could film this video and here we are now. It was starting to put me in like a lower mood just because one, I was super excited to film and I haven't felt this inspired and just ready to film in a minute. And like the dogs constantly barking was just like annoying and out of my control. But you guys didn't ask for all that. You guys came here to see my 2019 winter hygiene routine. So I've done two other hygiene routines or just hygiene related videos on my channel before. Here we are with another one, but this one is winter edition because you know in the winter months first of all it was back in the summer no it wasn't even that long ago but I am using new products now and I do kind of switch up my routine for the winter just the colder months in general because this is where you could get ashy it's dry outside it's ashy hygiene isn't only important in the summer when we're sweating to death and having heat strokes it's also important when we're freezing cold that's what I'm here to share with you guys today I just want to put out a little disclaimer I don't know this is just my personal hygiene routine this is what I do on a daily basis and no way am I telling you this this is what you're supposed to be doing like this is the right thing to do nothing like that I'm literally just sharing what I do and what works for me and I hope you guys are able to pull information like pull ideas pull products out of my routine and kind of just create your own or just go with my routine I don't shoot I don't care do what you want to do but I just wanted to say that I'm sitting in my really comfy what are these chairs called again Papa son chair yeah I'm chilling in my Papa son chair we're chilling okay this is a girl talk all right we're all hanging out together let's just go ahead and hop into this video so I'm basically just going to take you guys top to bottom which is kind of how I like to structure these videos to begin with it just makes sense I like these videos to feel as organized as possible and to not lose you guys in the process of explaining everything everything I'm about to explain. I'm gonna make this as simple as possible, show you guys what I like to use, why I like to use them, when I like to use them, how I like to use them, where I like to use them, all that type of stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, then keep on watching. So I would start with my face, but since this isn't a skincare routine, we're not gonna do that. If you guys are interested in an updated skincare routine, give this video a thumbs up and I will make sure to do that for you guys. So the first route we're taking is the mouth, okay? And I feel like this is one of the most important this is one of those things I mean yes we all know how to brush our teeth but I mean do we though the majority of us know how to brush our teeth but I just thought I'd show you guys my routine like beginning to end everything I use to keep fresh breath throughout the day everything I use to remove like everything okay we are completely cleaning the mouth I was about to say inside and out but that doesn't work here's all the products I use and I'm just going to show each of them one by one so first we're gonna go in with toothpaste okay so we like to brush our teeth I just use a Colgate toothbrush it has the little toothbrush protector thing over it because I'm just really paranoid that my toothbrush is gonna get dirty and then I gotta put that in my mouth and I just can't have that so I actually really recommend getting one of these toothbrush covers you can get a pack of like four for less than two dollars at Walmart these are really useful especially for traveling going to a friend's house whatever you plan on doing I also really like these toothbrush protector thingies specifically because not only do they protect your toothbrush but they also have little holes in them so that way your toothbrush is being protected from like germs but also it has these breathable holes so your toothbrush isn't going to be smelling it ain't going to be sitting in water toothpaste residue nothing like that because that's nasty and you don't want your toothbrush to start to like sink and like just collect stuff you know what I'm saying so now that we have that down pat let me share the three toothpaste I like to use with you guys so I know this seems really extra to have three different types of toothpaste so I use both of these on a daily basis this one I just got today and the only reason it's in this video is because I was actually watching my previous hygiene routine video and I had this in the video and I kind of forgot how bomb this toothpaste is so I went and got this at the store today it's like really cheap but this toothpaste if you're trying to naturally lighten your teeth without ruining your enamel, damaging your teeth, anything like that, the Arm & Hammer Advanced Care Toothpaste is where it's at. This stuff is so bomb. It's so inexpensive, but it works so well. I've used this toothpaste in the past and I absolutely love it. So I went and picked it up again today because this is going to be my go-to toothpaste for now on because this stuff is where it's at. I promise you, okay? I'm putting you on now. If you didn't know about it before, you know now and it's time to go to the store and go purchase this because it is so good. 
good. But what I've been using before I went and picked this up today, I'm still gonna use these toothpaste. I'm so extra, I literally have three different toothpaste, but the toothpaste I've been using are the Crest 3D White Stain Eraser toothpaste. This is what this toothpaste looks like. It's in the Icy Clean Mint flavor. Anytime I get a new toothpaste, I always go with a whitening toothpaste. And it's not that I'm unsatisfied with how my teeth look or anything like that. It's just, I mean, if I'm gonna get toothpaste, might as well get whitening. I don't even know if it makes a difference, but I like to think it does, and I swear this one does, okay? This is like a different category. If I have the option to get a whitening toothpaste, I'm just gonna get it, just because why not? Another toothpaste I love by Crest is their, it's like a gum detox toothpaste. That's another amazing toothpaste if you really want just a like deep clean overall in your mouth. But either way, this toothpaste is really good. So basically, morning and night, it's time to brush my teeth, right? So I get my toothbrush, I put my toothpaste on it, I brush my teeth with this toothpaste, spit it out, and then I go in with my, this toothpaste is the Hello Activated Charcoal Epic Whitening Fluoride Toothpaste. So I go in with this toothpaste afterwards, and I know it seems really extra and maybe even unhealthy to brush your teeth twice. You're probably like, girl, that is way too much. You are stripping away your enamel, you are damaging your teeth. But this toothpaste is completely natural. There's no harsh ingredients, there's no fluoride, anything like that. That's why I feel like it's okay to go in with this toothpaste afterwards, just because it's completely natural. And if anything, this one is gonna strip my teeth more than this one. So I like to go in with both. Not only am I getting like a deep clean, but I'm also kind of whitening my teeth at the same time because this toothpaste itself, I would not go in with to actually get a deep clean in my mouth. I've tried to use it by itself and I just don't feel like I'm getting a deep clean. I feel like this toothpaste is specifically made for whitening. You could use it as a regular toothpaste, but personally, I feel like I'm missing out on a lot if I just go in with this. So I like to get a deep clean with my Crest 3D White or my Advanced White Toothpaste face by Arm & Hammer and then I'll go in with something dedicated to whitening. It's really extra, not necessary, it's just what I like to do. So after I'm done brushing my teeth, do you know what this is? This is the most important step to brushing your teeth, the key to fresh breath, the key to a clean mouth overall. This is a tongue brush. So if you've never seen one of these before, it's basically a brush dedicated to cleaning your tongue. So I know regular toothbrushes will have the textured back which allows you to brush your tongue, but I swear where once you get a tongue brush, you will see how much you have been leaving behind and how much the back of your toothbrush really isn't getting. If you're not able to get a tongue brush, the back of your toothbrush will do the job for you to an extent. But if you are down, if you're able to spend a couple dollars to get a tongue brush, I swear this will change your life. It's honestly disgusting to see how much comes off of your tongue on a daily basis, okay? This is a very important step, the key to fresh breath. Because if you guys are not aware, brushing your teeth alone is not going to remove bad breath. Your bad breath doesn't lay on your teeth it lays on your tongue that's where all the food collects that's where everything collects nasty stuff okay and if you aren't cleaning it that's why your breath stinks. I will literally go in with this multiple times when I'm brushing my teeth because I'll use this after I brush my teeth and then I'll use mouthwash and then I'll go in with it again and it's like the same thing over again. I know that sounds nasty, but I feel like the mouthwash kind of just like brings all the nasty stuff out of your mouth. It kind of draws it out and then the tongue brush will kind of just literally get it all out of your mouth. I don't know if that makes sense, but I promise you this is where it's at, okay? Tongue brush. So after my tongue brush, I like to floss my teeth. So this floss is still in the package because I just re stock today but this is the glide comfort plus floss it really doesn't matter what floss you use i'm just saying flossing is also very important i'm not your dentist i'm not going to tell you what to do i know you've heard it before but flossing is a very important step when taking care of your teeth while taking care of your mouth one of the easiest ways to get cavities is by not flossing because there is food sugar nasty stuff just sitting in between your teeth so that's another thing that can cause bad breath that you may not be thinking about you could still be cleaning your tongue you could be brushing your teeth multiple times but if you got food just sitting in between your teeth is over so I really recommend flossing it really doesn't matter what brand you use but the glide comfort plus floss is my favorite because it's kind of flat the floss is flat so it goes in between your teeth better and it doesn't hurt so if you're not already flossing I would go for it doesn't have to be the glide they have off brands of this literally anywhere but I would go with a more comfortable floss just because it's easier on your gums and in between your teeth because I know flossing can literally hurt once you floss consistently it's 
it's not an issue whatsoever. I remember when I used to never floss and I'd floss every once in a while and it was painful. Like my gums would get sore, my gums were bleeding because I wasn't doing it consistently enough. But if you're consistent with it, it should not be an issue. I feel like this should just be a part of your routine and just something you're used to once again. I'm not gonna tell you to do anything, but I highly recommend it. So the last thing I have that I like to use in my mouth for my like mouth hygiene, this is the Crest 3D White Diamond Strong Mouthwash. It doesn't really matter what mouthwash you use, but I'm just sharing with you guys the mouthwash I'm personally using at the moment. It's like this huge bottle. It's lasted me forever, but this is alcohol free, so it's not gonna burn your mouth as bad. That's one of the reasons I like don't like using mouthwash because it burns your mouth so bad, but this one's a lot easier on your mouth. It's still really minty and leaves your breath really fresh, but it's not gonna burn as much because I really don't like that feeling where my tongue literally goes numb when I'm just trying to like clean my mouth out. I recommend this mouthwash. I'm pretty sure I got this at Walmart. So this is kind of like the last thing I like to go in with. I'll kind of swish it around in my mouth and then I'll spit it out. And then like I said before, I go in with my tongue brush again afterwards. I don't even really need to explain that part. Like once you do it, you'll be like, oh. So now that our teeth are brushed, our teeth are flossed, our tongue is clean, our breath is fresh, now I'm going to show you guys what I like to use on my body. So there's a lot of different products I use on my body and on my skin, but the first group of products I'm gonna show you guys are what I like to use in the shower, like while I'm showering. No shit. So I have everything laid out. I'm gonna show you guys like the body wash I use, what I use to exfoliate, how I moist. Oh, I don't moisturize in the shower. Just all the different soaps I use. I'm gonna show you guys my face wash because I do use that in the shower. Let me go ahead and show you guys the shaving cream and razor I use. I feel like that should be in this video as well. Okay, so the first products I'm going to show you guys are my body washes. Yes, I have two. Yes, I'm extra if you guys have not figured that out throughout this video yet. Hygiene products, just like body wash, lotion, things like that. Just get me hype for no reason. I was just chilling using my gentle exfoliating body wash and then I saw they had a winter care version and I was like yeah, these are the two body washes I've been using recently. I've been using this one for longer. This is the Dove Gentle Exfoliating Body Wash. So I know you guys have probably heard me talk about this before. Maybe you haven't if you're new to my channel. Hi, if not, maybe you still didn't watch the hygiene videos and that's okay. But Dove Body Wash is my absolute favorite because not only does it suds up really well and get you really clean, but it also is very moisturizing. I know a lot of body washes, like they'll give you a good clean, but then they also make you feel stripped and dry afterwards, which I don't like whatsoever. So that's why I like to use Dove Body Wash. I've tried multiple different brands, lots of different types of soaps, and Dove is unbeatable. I like the gentle exfoliating because it does clean and soften your skin, but it also has these little exfoliating beads inside of it, which I really like because I feel like it's giving me an even deeper clean, and it's exfoliating my skin at the same time. So I really recommend this body wash. And then I also like to use the Dove Winter Care Body Wash. This one I got recently, but I'm already, I've already used like this much. I've not had this for long at all. I literally just got this because it's winter care. I kind of got it specifically for this video. I've been using it for a couple weeks now, but I'm just getting around to filming this video and you know we had to include it. I don't really know how to explain it. It just smells really clean, fresh. I love the smell of pretty much all of Dove's body washes. So if you guys aren't using Dove body wash, that's okay, but I do recommend it. So along with the body wash, you know I had to include exfoliating washcloth. So I've talked about these before on my channel and I won't stop because I highly recommend them. Basically what this is, it's a washcloth. We all know what a washcloth is, right? But instead it looks different, right? You can literally see through it. So this is a washcloth that literally exfoliates your skin. It doesn't like hurt or anything, but it is a little more rough because it is made to exfoliate your skin so I really like exfoliating washcloths because maybe you don't want to buy an exfoliant you don't have to buy an exfoliant but these washcloths they're not expensive whatsoever you could put any soap on these washcloths and wash your skin like so and it's going to not only exfoliate your skin but it's gonna make your soap go a long way this is also a way to save soap because you can literally put the smallest amount on this washcloth and it's gonna make it suds up so much, which I absolutely love. I feel like these have really improved my skin. They've made it softer and they've probably helped remove dead skin because that's what exfoliating does. So I do recommend these. I got mine at Target. I've heard you can also get them at Walmart. I personally haven't seen them there. You could also look on Amazon. But these washcloths, I'll literally use it one time, like one shower. I'll put it in the washing machine because I just don't wanna use a wet rag that I use to wash my body more than once without cleaning it. I don't know, like, 
that just doesn't sit right with me so after the shower I'll literally take it out of the shower with me put it in the wash literally the dryer too and it's completely fine I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do probably not but I recommend washing them that's a personal preference so the next thing I like to use in the shower is another soap this is the dove sensitive skin soap so you guys are probably like Azzy why are you using three different soaps in the shower I mean I only go in with one of these at a time but I also like to go in with a separate bar soap specifically a sensitive soap once again this is dove of course this is literally the only soap brand I use so what I like to use this for I always have one of these in the shower I'll wash my body with an exfoliating washcloth or a loofah whatever I'm feeling I don't use this all the time and then I'll get my bar of soap and this is what I'll use to wash my armpits. I still wash my armpits with this soap as well, but this is where we dig deep. We get a deep, deep clean. So we wash the armpits a second time with this soap because armpits, that's just a given. Like those need to be cleaned, obviously. I like to clean them more than once just because not only can they get stinky, they collect sweat, they collect dirt, and you also wear deodorant. And it's really important to scrub off your deodorant at the end of the day. Get your deodorant off your armpits at the end of the day. You don't want that just sitting on your skin, going to sleep. I do reapply deodorant before going to sleep but I think it's important to also remove any deodorant you've been wearing all throughout the day off of your skin before reapplying it needs to be washed off especially if you're using a deodorant that's not good for your underarms let's at least get it off by the end of the day so that's where the sensitive skin dove soap comes to play they have the dove white soap dove deep moisture but I like to use like completely unscented very light bar soap for this the main reason I get this soap is not for my armpits if it was specifically for my armpits I'd get something a little more scented but this does the job just because the soap smells really strong doesn't mean it's giving you a deeper clean the main reason I use this is for the downstairs so I know this can be like a contra controversial controversial topic it doesn't have to be but it is everyone treats their cuckoo punani whatever different ways so I hear a lot of like you literally don't need to wash it like just let water do its thing I see people use feminine wash down there which I'm scared to use I'm not using that if you do that's your thing but personally I don't know like I've just heard things about it that I'm not too fond of so I'm just not gonna try it so personally I like to wash mine okay I don't care I just I just don't feel like I'm getting a deep enough clean if I'm not putting some soap down there so it doesn't even have to go inside not gonna lie mine does a little bit because that's just my preference and that's just what works for me I've never had any issues with it it's been good to go so I like to use this soap I'll mostly just clean like around the area but I also like to go in a little bit that's just my preference I just like to feel it's completely completely washed out and clean okay and that's just me you don't have to do that to your vagina but personally that's what I like to do the comments are disabled by YouTube but I would hope there wouldn't be an argument going on about how I wash my vagina in the comments so that's just what I like to do so I like to use this for my armpits I just kind of rub it on my hands like I'll make some soap well for my armpits I'll put it on a loofah just because that just helps me get a deeper clean but when it comes to washing the downstairs I just rub it in my hands because I'm not trying to use a loofah or like scrub or be super harsh with that area because it's very sensitive and using soap down there is enough so the next thing I like to use in the shower this isn't something I use all the time but I do really enjoy using these exfoliants in general but this is the Dove exfoliating body polish this is in their scent pomegranate seeds and shea butter I absolutely love this stuff this tub of this exfoliant is the first time I've got the Dove body polish I've seen it in store multiple times it's a little pricier it's not like super expensive but it's pricey than like your average body exfoliant so that's why I was like is it worth it I don't know but since I love all of Dove's other products and I absolutely loved the smell of this I decided to pick it up and give it a try I'm gonna try and show you guys what it looks like so this is what it looks like and as you can see it's a little more runny than the average body exfoliant and I guess that's where like the body polish comes to play so it's not specifically an exfoliant it also kind of moisturizes your skin and just polishes it in the shower with that steam this scent hits different and I absolutely love it so after washing my body sometimes in the shower I'll like to go in with this I'll use this usually before I shave maybe one to two times a week not super often just because it's not really necessary all the time and the shit was expensive and I'm trying to save my money yeah but I do really recommend this body polish if you're looking for something to really treat yourself this is where to go but I also do like the tree hut exfoliating scrubs those are amazing body scrubs so the last things I like to use in the shower is face wash and my Foreo cleansing brush 
brush so I like to wash my face in the shower just because it's convenient it just makes sense to instead of like taking a shower getting out washing my face since it's all a part of like cleaning my body I just like to add this into my shower routine and while you're in the shower the heat is going to open up your pores so it's going to allow you to get a deeper clean while washing your face so currently I'm using the soap and glory vitamin C facial wash facial wash I love this stuff okay I had a sample of this face wash before I don't know where I got it but I used the whole thing like completely and I really liked it I like this face wash because not only does it smell good it smells really fresh and almost citrusy it has exfoliating beads in it so it's gonna give you a deeper clean and this makes your skin feel so clean okay like once you're done washing your face with this it feels like there's absolutely nothing left on your skin but it doesn't make your skin feel stripped I'm all about that when a product makes your skin feel clean and refreshed without it feeling stripped and dried out so that's why I really recommend this face wash you can get this at Target Ulta Amazon that's where I've seen it but I really recommend this face wash and this is what I've been using recently and then along with my face wash to get it even deeper clean you guys have probably seen me talk about this before on my channel this was sent to me to begin with ever since they sent me this I swear I have not gone without using it I even went and bought my own travel size version of it because I really just don't want to live without it like even if I'm sleeping over at somebody's house I'm traveling we got the mini yeah I absolutely love these things so not only am I getting a deep clean with this face wash but if you put it on this brush this is a game changer this video is not sponsored whatsoever nothing in this video is sponsored but I live for this thing I live by it okay oh yeah I forgot to talk about this the last thing I like to use in the shower this isn't as common because I don't shave in the shower every single day but I do like to shave sometimes when I feel like it depends on what I'm doing where I'm going what the moves are you know what I'm saying the shaving cream I like to use I got this recently but this is the Gillette satin care ultra sensitive shaving cream if I can get a sensitive shaving cream I'm gonna get it just because my skin isn't super sensitive but when it comes to shaving your skin can get really sensitive so if I have the option I'm just gonna get sensitive care it just works for me it's just not as harsh on your skin but I really like this shaving cream it foams up really nicely makes your skin really moisturized and gives you a close shave it says irritation defense so shaving allows you to be very prone to irritation. So once again, if I have an option to avoid some of that, I'm going to get it. So this is the shaving cream I like to use. And then the razor I like to use. This is a Bic men's razor. I don't know the exact line this is from, but any men's razor with four plus blades is going to give you a close shave. And those are the only razors I use. Men's just give you a closer shave and they usually have more blades, which just works a lot better. So I highly recommend men's razors if you're not using them already. I have to take shit. So we got out of the shower. We're feeling super fresh, clean, moisturized, dead skin, gone. We're feeling good, right? So now it's time to get out of the shower. So after the shower, I like to moisturize my skin. And then I also wanted to share the perfumes I have been using recently with you guys. What I personally like to do, I'll go in with moisturizer and then I'll put on perfume after before I even put clothes on. I'll go in with perfume because not only do I want perfume on my clothes, I want it to be on my skin. Not only my clothes smell good, but I smell good. And then I feel like going Going in with perfume after the lotion just allows the perfume to stick better. I don't know if that's a thing, but we're gonna make it a thing. That's just a thought process that goes on in my head. I have two lotions with me. We have the St. Ives Hydrating Vitamin E and Avocado Body Lotion, and then I also have the Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant Lotion. Both of these lotions are really good. St. Ives has a lot of good lotions, but this lotion right here, nothing beats this. I have not found anything that has beat this. I have not found a lotion that has not only deeply moisturized my skin, but is also also not made my skin feel greasy or oily it's like a thick moisturizer like it feels very moisturizing but it doesn't leave your skin greasy I don't know how they do it but this soaks right into your skin and even once it soaks in your skin is gonna feel super soft and genuinely look and feel moisturized but then this lotion is also good this one's a little lighter I feel like it doesn't moisturize you as much it's not a huge difference but I would definitely prefer my Vaseline lotion but this is another good lotion that also smells amazing so after lotion I go in with perfume so I have three perfumes that I've been loving recently. So the first one is the Bath & Body Works In The Stars Fragrance Mist. This hasn't even been a recently thing. I've gone through, I think, two bottles of this. I've gone through a bottle since I last showed this to you guys. This is a new bottle and it's almost gone, as you can see. This has been like my signature scent for a while. I absolutely love this fragrance mist. And the reason I do, I don't like extremely sweet smelling fragrances all the time. I have one here that is pretty sweet. But the majority of the time, I like something that's both feminine and 
and masculine at the same time I don't really know what that means, but you know what I'm saying, right? Kind of sweet, but then it's also like Ooh, are you wearing cologne? So then I also like to use the Victoria's Secret Velvet Petals perfume. This is the one that's really sweet. It's very sweet, but I love this stuff. And I'm not even normally a fan of like really sweet perfumes, but this stuff is bomb. So I usually like to drench myself in this and then I'll go in with a little bit of this. It's just a really good mixture. Like this is my signature scent right here. Okay, if you wanna know what I smell like, mix these two together. So then the last perfume I've been really into recently is the Into the Night Fine Fragrance Mist by Bath and Body Works. This is a newer scent they came out with. I feel like this was kind of their take two on the in the stars because this scent did really well for them so I feel like they tried to recreate like a really bomb signature scent and they did it so this as you can see they look really similar they literally just went dark mode on this fragrance mist but this one smells different it's a little sweeter how does a scent smell darker one of my friends one of my friends has referred to this to smelling like a Chanel perfume. So I really recommend this perfume if you're trying to smell good. All right, so something I kind of wanted to go over before the lotion. It doesn't really matter, but I just wanted to go over witch hazel in general just because I feel like this is a very important step to my hygiene routine. And I have two different witch hazels here because this one I'll use for like my body. And this one is specifically for your face. It literally says facial toner. This one's scented, which I would not use on any area. Like, you know what I'm saying? This one isn't really necessary whatsoever you could definitely use this one for your face as well especially if you don't want to pay for like overpriced witch hazel I don't know why this shit is so expensive but this is basically a cheaper version without the cucumber scent witch hazel is how do they explain it? It says gentle relief for oily, irritated, red, damaged, blemished, or inflamed skin. So I like to go in with this to remove any extra dirt from my body, from my face, from behind my ears or if I'm dealing with any like redness, irritation, razor bumps, anything like that, I'll go in with some witch hazel. This is just going to like soothe your skin and if you have redness, this is gonna make it disappear. Let me not say disappear and then people come and attack me because their irritation didn't disappear, but this is going to help improve it a lot. It's just a soothing agent that's really good for your skin. I've been using this forever and I will forever recommend it. So after washing my face in the shower, after I'm done doing everything in the shower, I'll come back into my room, sit in my chair, I'll get some witch hazel on a cotton pad. I'll use one for my face. I'll get another one to clean behind my ears. I'll get another one to clean behind my neck because those areas are places that a lot of people miss in the shower. Even whenever you wash them in the shower, if you go in with some witch hazel on a cotton pad after, it's still going to be brown. And that's why I recommend it. I also like to use this on any irritation I'm having. It could be like under my armpits after shaving. It could be like my bikini line after shaving. Oh my gosh, this is the best for that. This and okay i don't know where it is i'll insert a picture but aloe vera gel any irritation or razor bumps these are the two products for you i'll just get some on these cotton pads you can get these at walmart you can get these literally anywhere and then the one i like to use on my skin the majority of the time is the thayers I actually never try to pronounce that brand Thayer's facial toner. This is their cucumber scent. They have a lot of different scents, but I just liked the cucumber It just smells really fresh literally a straight-up cucumber maybe a little sweeter So then the last products I wanted to share with you guys today are the products I like to use for my underarms So I have two deodorants here and then I also have these wipes We're gonna go over these wipes first because they're not as common and I really want to put it out there that these are are bomb so these are the dove go fresh deodorant wipes so basically it could be a long day you could have like left your deodorant at the house you could have put it on in the beginning of the day but just need like a refresher so that's where the dove go fresh deodorant wipes come in handy so you just get a wipe you just wipe your underarms like if you're dealing with any sort of smell or maybe you just want to refresh it you know maybe you were sweating something like that after the gym just get one of these wipes and wipe down your pits with it this will completely remove any odor you had under your armpits any sweat these are really helpful so then for deodorant recently I've been using two different deodorant I've been using the Arm & Hammer Essentials crisp orange citrus deodorant I like to use this one because it is like completely natural there's no aluminum parabens there's no aluminum or parabens or like any harsh metals in this deodorant which are in most deodorants and any perspirants but usually a natural deodorant it just won't do it all for me like I can wear it but it depends on the day depends on how hot it is because sometimes I'm just gonna be honest this does not do the job for that long so I like to go in usually I'll literally wear these both at the same time so after using this one I'll go in with my Old Spice Aqua Reef deodorant Aqua Reef is just 
just the scent. I love this scent. It smells super fresh and clean. A good thing about this deodorant is that it also doesn't have aluminum in it. I don't know if this is something they've like changed up recently, but aluminum is really bad for your underarm area. I was really happy to see that they had a deodorant without it. This one doesn't do it all for me, but together these usually do the job, especially if you have the Go Fresh wipes with you. If you're looking for deodorants that aren't as bad for your underarms, especially this one, because this one's completely fine. Uh, I recommend the Arm & Hammer Essentials line, and then Old Spice, I'm not saying it's the best to put under your arms, but it is free of aluminum, which is a big step forward. Did we go over everything? I feel like this video was like very organized. Like I just said everything I wanted to say. There's one more product I forgot to share with you guys. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is their intense hydration skin protectant. It says used to help hydrate dry parched skin, temporarily help relieve minor irritation and itching due to eczema and other conditions. This is just a really good deep moisturizer and I like to specifically go over my elbows and my knees with this product. Oh and my feet, especially my heels. This is just a very deep moisturizer. This is a slightly pricier product and it's not necessary you can get this done with the Vaseline lotion but I do really recommend this product if you are looking for something that just deeply hydrates your skin especially like dry and cracked skin because you know with this winter weather that can happen I like it because it's really moisturizing but it's also really light it's not a very thick product I really recommend this okay so now I think that's everything I think we did it all right guys so that is it for my 2019 updated winter hygiene routine this is what I've been doing for the past few months and it's worked amazing for me I hope you guys were able to take things from this video learn about new products that are really helpful I just hope this video was informative for you and I hope you enjoyed it like I think I explained everything that I wanted to explain which makes me feel good because I hate going to edit a video or like post a video and I'm like I left all that out. I had so much more to say and I can talk a lot. So yeah guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have got all the way to the end and you have not subscribed yet, please make sure to do so. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you guys want to keep up with me while I'm not on YouTube posting videos, you can follow me on my Instagrams. I have both a personal and a spam account on Instagram, but you gotta follow the spam because I'm much more consistent on that account. I respond to comments a lot faster on that account. It's just my more like interactive page that I'm just totally on for fun. It's the whole family on there and you'll see once you get accepted because it is private, but unless you're a creep, you'll get accepted. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.